Welcome back everyone, this is Mod All Day, back with another video, and in this video, I'll be doing an overview of DC vs. Vampires, Volume 2, the hardcover. I'll be talking about a little bit of the story, the art, and of course, if it's worth your purchase or not. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, you're not supported, and put the key up today and watch videos like this. So, let's take a look at front of the dust jacket, the spine, the back, and I'll do a full spread image of the dust jacket. All right, front of the book, the spine, the back, and do a full spread image of the art, which I really, really like. Look at that. That looks really creepy, but looks so dope. McFarlane, here you go. Next figure. All right, let's see what's inside. So what is this book about? So actually, before I get started regarding this book, I will be talking about a little bit of the first one, how it ends. So... It'll take me a few seconds, so don't worry, but you've been warned. So in case of a spoiler warning, well, here we go. So Volume 1 ends with Nightwing being the traitor slash the vampire. And you actually come to find out that he's actually the king vampire or vampire king. And what he does, what he decides to do is actually spread his, inf well, not spread, but I guess you can say infect all heroes, but also humans as well too, for them to be a vampire. So this book starts off with... A group of heroes, they are in a caravan heading to a specific location to drop off something. And I can't say too much because I'll spoil it. Unfortunately, things turn south. No spoilers again because I don't want to spoil anything. But things get really, really crazy. It goes south and now the story progresses. The remaining heroes create a plan. And the plan is one group is going to go to Smallville. Another group is going to go to Gotham. And another group is going to go to Australia. Now, they go to a specific location for a specific reason, which I won't talk about, because if I do, it'll spoil it, especially for one particular story, which I'm not going to say too much about it, because I'll spoil it, like I said. And that's pretty much it. it they go to these lo locations, they go on this mission, and yeah, that's, that's the gist of the story. I can't say much more, because if I do, I'll spoil it, and I don't want to spoil it, because I really enjoy this book. The story itself and premise it's ridiculous and over the top, but it's fun, man. This is fun, and I really, really dig the story. My favorite mission, I guess you can say, or story arc, is going to be the Gotham one. I'm not going to say who's involved or anything, but that story alone is a lot of fun. There's some twists and turns throughout all stories. Oh, I mean, all stories, all missions, but the Gotham one really got my eye. It got my attention. I'm like, dude, this is really cool. Things happen, which, again, I don't want to say because I'll spoil it, but things happen. It's like, oh, this is crazy. I didn't expect that. And then more things happen, and I'm like, okay, that was clever. You got you got me there. You got me there. And I got to say, I really dig the story. I know I'm very vague because I don't want to spoil it, but, again, I if I say more about the mission, it will give it away the fun of it because this book is a fun. The whole premise is fun. It's ridiculous and over the top, but it's a lot of fun. I've heard, and I'm a bit confused because I've heard this is the final of the series, but yet I've also read too that the story continues on with other books because there's other stories as well too. There's DC vs. Vampires Killers and DC vs. Vampires All Out War. So I don't know if those are just tie-ins to the main story of this one or a continuation of this main story. I'm a bit confused because, I, again, I've read two things. So if you know, leave it in the comment section in terms of this is the finale or it's going to continue on with the other stories. But overall, this story, it's very simple, straightforward, but it's a lot of fun and over-the-top action. The art here is really, really good. It does have that matte paper, which is unfortunate because the art here is really, really cool. Some of the, the images here, it is just so good, man. If this was glossy paper or the Absolute Edition, my God, the art would just really pop with all the colors and everything that's going on, top tier. Oh, man, you have to see that in person. In terms of the cameos here, and I say cameos, there's a lot. This includes a lot of DC characters, such as Peacemaker, Dr. Fate, Green Arrow, Doom Patrol, Adam Strange, Polka Dot Man, many others as well, too. I was surprised. I was like, wait a minute, this character's in here, too? So they went all out, bringing in various DC characters, and I dig it, man. I really, really like that. In terms of the pacing, I would say the pacing is between average, some some parts, but for the most part, it's a little bit above average, especially in the fighting scene. The fighting scenes, they go really, really quick, but they're really, really fun. 
But the pacing, like I said, it's about average in certain parts. Do you need to have prior knowledge? Yes, you do. You definitely need to read Volume 1. Because if you don't, you're going to get lost. Because they reference a lot of stuff that happened in Volume 1. So make sure you read Volume 1 before you read this. The paper is matte, like I said. So it is what it is, though. But overall, though, what I think about this story, I really dig it. The whole concept of this whole DC versus Vampires, I enjoyed the first volume. I even recommend it. And this book, same thing. I highly recommend it. If you like Volume 1, just for over-the-top storytelling, I guess you can say, and the premise of being ridiculous, you're going to love this, man. The way it ends, I can't say because I don't want to spoil it, but the way it ends, it completely caught me off guard. But it's also clever and smart. It's like, you know what? I can see this character doing what this character did. It, it makes sense with this character. This character is, is smart. And for what this character does, at the end, it's like, okay, clever. And I can see that. And it makes logical sense. It's still over the top, but it makes a lot of sense. Overall, though, like I said, I really recommend this story. If you're looking for something fun, easy to read, and just fun. Again, like I said, fun. This is it, man, and I really enjoyed this story. I highly recommend it. I want an absolute edition because I feel like with the paper quality and absolute when this particular art, the colors are going to just pop and the art's going to really, really, really shine. It does answer a lot of questions in terms of who turns into a vampire, what happens, and so forth. I don't want to say too much. So overall, though, DC vs. Vampires Volume 2, the hardcover, I give it an easily, easily thumbs up for me. Let me know what you guys think. Have you read this book? Do you plan on reading this book? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button and not support channel but to keep up to date on watch videos like this. Then includes an overview of DC vs. Vampires Volume 2, the hardcover, and on to the next one.